All right, so I completely forgot to do an outro last night, but we'll catch you guys up on. Get your balls. Shut the f up! <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, can you help me tell everyone our dilemma right now? What? Which dilemma? Just you standing. Want to tell them how we f***ed up? Well, because Chad gets distracted just about as easily as you do. That's part of our problem. <laughs> oh, did he cut the gasket? For the oil cooler? The oil ring? Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one that was supposed to be for the intake manifold? Chad, does he's it fit? The, he's back to the workstation. Oh, uh, Chad, you're back to your workstation? Actually, he's taking over my workstation. Yeah, he is. Chad, off my workstation. No. Go to your workstation. Fuck off. Does it have to be perfect? No, it doesn't. It just has to get in there. It looks a little thick. It's okay. I'm going to squeeze. We like thick boys anyway. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought you were going to throw all the... Can you go through Yeah, this? dude, you were supposed to take care of the trash. Yeah, I'm paying the you. Alex, you sure race? No. It's, it's in there like swimmer already. Is it? Yeah, no, it's, it's out in there. It is. I'm not even... We took this front oh, bumper and mashed it up to the air-to-air -air intercool... Ooh. Seems to fit nicely, but we got rid of these two air channels right here. Uh, you guys know I got the Red Sport bumpers, so this bottom panel is actually a little different, and I don't have the sensors. Uh, we took these off, that way we could give more space for the intercooler. We're still waiting for the crossover lines. Right now, Chad's trying to jimmy rig a... Double-sided mill now. Yep. Did you get that O-ring fixed? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's fine. fine. It's, 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 it's not going to, it's, oh my it's fine. God. No, it's fine. It's, it's sealed though. It's well it sealed. It, 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 it squished out a little bit, but it's, it's going to be okay. Build up. Put those away. All right, let's throw out this garbage so we got some room. That's, no, that we're was doing Rome's a, job. Chad, we're doing we a podcast. We need to stick to him. Okay. Yo, we're waiting for, we can't really do much of anything until we get parts or fast. Yeah. You know we have plenty. We're going to pull the, the rails off, to these things on there. I could tuck up the underneath. I could tuck the... I can't do that. You know it would be really clean? If we had them integrate that blow-off valve into the piping so there's less couplers. Less chance for shit to pop off. Yup. It would look better. Yup. That's what there happens with Brandon's turbos. Wait, yeah, that's exactly what Brandon's turbos look like. <laughs> do it again. He has big... <laughs> Those are Brandon's turbos. Brandon's... You had glass pipes, turbos? that's what your exhaust would look like. <laughs> <laughs> They're only called that because uh, Toge Factory came out with their own and they literally called them blast really? pipes. And Reinhardt and all the knockoffs of the Reinhardt. Dude, the Reinhardt for the S13s, the original, and the AE86s. You got the pen? I'm not a big fan of the AE86. <gasps> Alright, Chad, give me a breakdown of this car. JDM, bro! JDM! What you know about that European car? Bro, look, JDM. Yeah, it's JDM, bro. Yeah. It's got a choo choo. Factory choo choo schoolboy. Pop the hood, pop the hood. You guys want to see the schoolboy? Pop, pop the hood. Boom, boom. We got to do a, a content of the look over of the factory A4 so choo choo. Go oh, check out the schoolboy. Hey, why don't you go make it go choo choo? God bless. Do you want to hear Chad? Make it go choo choo. Get to the schoolboy. Oh, yeah, he's going to make it go choo choo. <laughs> I hate it. It was always lost in here. Rome, really? For all the fuck, I didn't do this. I know. <laughs> no, he definitely did that. This is the exhaust for it, and the rest of it's in the garage. Can we clean this now? No. Clean what? Well, how do you expect to work, Rome? Excuse me. Oh, I'm trying to go. So weird. You don't own no house. Your car barely works. Where no. Do you gotta go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so far uh, we're just cleaning up some of the fuel lines. We're getting the fuel rails ready because hopefully the crossover lines will be here by later today. Um, we already got that O-ring on the intake manifold. We got it to fit somehow. Some way. And uh, right now we're just cleaning stuff up. Is that really all we're doing is cleaning shit up? Like making it look good? Rerouting re the lines to their like kind of final, kind of final location and stuff. Okay. Chad, would you like to elaborate? Yeah, I'm just finishing up the uh, fuel return system runs under this side. So I'm just making it all nice and clean, tucked under here so that nothing off the road grabs it. And uh, it goes nice and neatly, you can see right here. But there's a filter and it goes nice and neatly all the way back down to the fuel tank. And then uh, 
that's pretty much it for the bottom of the return system. A lot of the stuff is really done in the pump. We'll put the pretty, the prettier one on. We can just leave that one. Yeah, it's not ported, but it's started. But we'll just put that one on for now. We can port another one and put it on another time. Oh, I see. It's just hitting it. Is it touching on the other side too? No. I might have to trim just a little bit right here. It's touching there. I just came in here because I couldn't hear shit, but we're taking that uh, half ported manifold, that bottom manifold, and we're gonna put it on the, uh, yeah, we're gonna put it on mine. We're taking my manifold out. And then porting that one and putting it back on later? Yes. I'm here supervising. Port. I'm, uh, Romello's video man. <laughs> oh yeah, it says Billy and Pelly. That's what I said, motherfucker. Oh yeah? Yeah. Look. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. This is another option. So this is the stock impeller. This is the 928 Billy impeller. Ooh, that's nice, Brandon. Oh! Tell me how you feel about having now the slowest car in the group. I don't have the slowest car in the group. I have the fastest one currently. No, you don't. Because your car don't run, and their cars are slow as shit. Their cars are slow as shit, right? <laughs> what? Can you see it? What's that, the new wheel? Yeah. It's Billy. It's gold. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Is that a direct fit or no? Yeah. Oh, then you don't need to do anything. You just need to put it in. Brandon! I'm getting it! Oh, that's why. I, oh, I don't need to. This this will reach, right? Yeah, it took... Yeah, look, this goes yeah, right. Should reach. Yeah, because I was... This, this was like right yeah. up here. Okay, we got that. Um, Finish installing fuel pump. Warm brown rice. You need to get a fitting for this. What'd you do with that fuel line that you got? Okay, so we just bring that up. Yeah, no, three, just go, oh, just, just write three eighths. Three eighths fitting. Yeah, this is the same shit. Three eighths fitting. Like that. All right, so you guys see the checklist. You see what else we have to get done for the supercharger build. Unfortunately, we cannot get any of this done until we get the crossover lines in. I swear to God, I feel like a broken record saying this, but unfortunately, we just have to wait. That's just kind of how it is. Uh, we can't work on the intake manifold. We can't do any of the intake piping. We can't even turn the car over, crank it, or nothing until those two fuel rails are connected together. Or else we just have fuel going everywhere, and that's kind of the last thing we want. So because of that, I'm actually going to have to cut this video short but don't worry because supercharger day four is going to be uploaded right after this so you guys can see and keep in touch with this whole entire supercharger build so with that said guys if you guys are enjoying this build just as much as we are because we're just really doing what we love to do sharing it with the community and honestly the interactions that i'm taking away from this is one of the best things that i can ask for from making these youtube videos so guys make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying make sure to share with your friends because we got more parts more cars and more builds to show and bring to this channel Channel, guys i'm gonna put my instagram link in the description so you guys can follow i really appreciate all you guys' support day four of the supercharger build is going to be on the way guys i'm double r my q50 is being built and i'm out